earnings of India's largest oil and gas company are at risk. Now, this has led to the company's shares falling by over 15% in just one month. What's causing this and how will it impact you? Let me explain in the next three minutes. Hit subscribe if you haven't already yet. Now, let's break down the business of ONGC or Oil and Natural Gas Corporation. The company searches for and extracts crude oil and natural gas from underground reservoirs and then makes revenue from selling these hydrocarbons to refineries and other industries. Thus, the company's revenue is mainly dependent on two factors oil prices and production volumes. To understand the impact of oil prices on the company better, watch this video if you haven't already yet. The major driver for the fall in the company's stock price this past month has been the fall in oil prices. Brent crude prices have hit a 33-month low on September 10th. Prices slipped 4.4% intraday to $68.68 per barrel, which is the lowest level seen since December 2021. Now, the fall in prices was driven by the OPEC or the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, cutting its 2024 global oil demand estimate to 2.03 million barrels per day from 2.11 million barrels per day earlier. Now, this cut comes after the oil market has had major demand concerns about China, which is one of the largest largest oil consumers in the world. This negative price trajectory in Brent crude prices has a direct impact on ONGCs. Now, the $75 per barrel oil price level is very important to ONGCs. The government of India introduced windfall taxes on crude in Q2 FY23. These taxes were introduced to limit oil companies from making excess profits during pre periods of high oil prices. Since then, ONGC's revenues per barrel of oil sold have been capped around $75. Therefore, oil prices rising above the $75 mark have no additional benefit for ONGC. However, when oil prices fall below this threshold, it exposes the company to more earnings risk since the company will have to match the market selling prices in order to be competitive. As per Newama research, ONGC's earnings could be impacted by 12 to 14 percent if crude prices fall by 5 to 10 dollars below the 75 dollar threshold. Prices right now are currently trading around 69 dollars per barrel, which is a key negative. Furthermore, Newama has also noted that ONGC's revenue from gas could also be at risk. The currently gas sold from ONGC fields are priced at a 10% slope to Brent crude prices. To summarize, ONGC can sell its gas produced at a maximum price of $6.5 per million metric British thermal unit and a minimum price of $4 per million metric British thermal unit. Now, this maximum price of $6.5 is scheduled to be raised to $6.75 in FY26. However, Nuvama believes that this price hike is now at risk due to falling oil prices. Now, despite these headwinds, as for Bloomberg, 64% of the analysts tracking the stock have a buy recommendation on the company. The positive outlook among brokers as well as investors is on the company's volume guidance. The ONGC targets 12% oil and 17% gas production growth by FY27, and this will be mainly driven by the company's KG982 asset. However, it is key to note that the company's total oil and gas production has been declining since FY19. Furthermore, the company has also missed its oil production growth guidance every year for at least the past six years. In terms of gas production, the company has met its guidance in two of the last six years. Well, that brings us to the end of today's analysis. Do let us know which company you want us to talk about next and stay tuned to NDTV Profit for more such insights.